Hi, it's uh, Friday night, uh, March 6th, uh, 2021. <laughs> four days, four days away until Bicentennial. I'm going to make this a really short video. Um, I'm tired. Uh, I've been traveling all over northern Missouri today doing some historical research and um, uh, talking to a lot of people, very nice people. Um, and um, <laughs> it's funny because when I tell them in other places and other towns, and I, I even went up into Iowa uh, today, um, and I told them what we're doing here uh, with this um, with this project. Uh, they're fascinated, and they, they keep asking what's going in there, and then they're giving me suggestions, and, uh, you know, you know, make sure you talk about COVID, and make sure you talk about this and that, and uh, yes, 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 I'm, I'm get all that advice here in Lee Summit, but I, I think people are very fascinated by it, and I think the, the interest level of our bicentennial starting to rise, um, finally, uh, now that we're getting closer to the moment. So uh, again, uh, here it is. Here's the time capsule, uh, empty right now. Uh, going to start filling in with all this stuff that I've got here, all the artifacts that are going in. Um, today, uh, I have a letter uh, from the uh, head of the Parks Rec uh, Board for, or Department for the City of Lee Summit. That's awesome. Um, so I've got that. Uh, today I got an email from uh, Office, or excuse me, Sergeant uh, Depew of the Lee Summit Police Department, and our Chief of Police here has been gracious enough to to write us a letter for the future. Uh, I just need to go pick that up. I'm either going to pick it up tomorrow or Monday, and I'm I'm very happy about that. Uh, still haven't heard from Lee Summit High School yet. Um, I uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to hear from uh, Lee Summit West here very shortly. Um, so I've got a couple more letters that are going in. Uh, I do want to show you some of the artifacts today that I, I have, and we're getting, <laughs> it's almost where I, I'm like, okay, no mas, no more, <laughs> because uh, uh, we're going to be running out of room out of this cylinder here. Uh, but I did, I, I, I was able to get this, and this is like the newest thing. Uh, this is a stylus, so you can vote, um, or a pen, uh, if you're voting by pen. Uh, they don't give out stickers anymore, but they do give out these really cool pins. And so I'm putting that as a um, artifact because it's something I think we're going to be living with, uh, with um, COVID. Um, I don't know which one of these I'm going to put in there. Uh, I haven't decided. Uh, I kind of, you know, it's based on room. Uh, but I have these coins, and I'm, I'm just going to show you this one here. Uh, it says, I survived 2020, and it's got little uh, emblems. Uh, well, it's got a, a mask on it. It's got little viruses all over it, uh, <laughs> social distancing six feet. Um, it's, it's kind of funny, uh, but it's this little gold medallion. And then I have the same one in silver. And so I haven't decided which one of those I'm going to put in there yet. Or maybe I'll put them both in if I've got room, but I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm getting short on room. Uh, I had a couple of kids today, or excuse me, I had a couple of kids the other day uh, in Lee Summit say, oh, Hey, if you're doing a time capsule, you you got to get and you're going to businesses in Lee Summit, local, local businesses. Oh man, you gotta you gotta go you, you gotta go to the tattoo place downtown Lee Summit. Like really? Yeah, you gotta go down to the tattoo place. And I'm like, you mean at the old mill? And they're like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm old because it used to be the old mill, and um, and actually uh, one of my ancestors owned it uh, like a hundred some years ago. So. Um, yeah, okay, that's okay. Uh, I mean, and, 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 and it's really cool that they've, they've been able to maintain a historical building. And so, um, and, and I, I went into a tattoo place. I don't have any tattoos, but uh, I, and, and they were very nice. I'm going to tell you something, uh, Bleeding Heart Tattoo here at Lee Summit. And they gave me a lot of stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to put it all in, um, but they gave me a really cool uh, sticker, uh, which is really nice. Um, I got a, a card, business card. Uh, I got some other stickers. And then I have, um, this is really neat. This is instructions, uh, aftercare instructions. What do you do with your tattoo uh, when, you're, when, you, when you've got it on your skin? And I didn't know there were so many things. I, I don't have any tattoos, so I didn't know about that. And, and I, it's pretty cool. And, and I've got a lot of kids. I've got a lot of students with, with um, tattoos and and. I had several kids in town tell me that, so I thought, hey, you know what? I'll put it in the time capsule. And, and then when you're 70, 80 years old, when they open this thing up and, you, oh, yeah, I remember when I got my tattoo. So that, that, that's kind of cool. 
Um, another sticker here. So I, I, I'm not, I probably won't put them all in, but I will put a couple of, uh, of items from them in. Now, something else happened today, and, and, and strange and unusual things happen to me all the time. And so while I was in the tattoo place, and I was talking, and they were just so nice. They're, and I have to say they were very, very nice people in there. Uh, there was a couple in there, um, um, husband and wife. I'm, I'm not going to give you their full names, but uh, uh, Zach and Heidi, and they live here in Lee Summit. And I, I think they were getting a tattoo or a piercing or something in there. Anyway, uh, they were on their way out as I was talking. And he said, hey, you're doing a time capsule. And he said, well, what about putting this in there? And I'll give it to you. And I'm like, really? Seriously? And he, it, it's something I hadn't even thought of. And yeah. And so I followed them home. And, and, they, and so I, uh, <laughs> they didn't think I'm some weirdo. Um, but this is really cool. And I, I tell you what, this is this is really cool. One of Lee Summit's uh, greatest athletes uh, in the history of the school district, um, uh, uh, Drew Locke, uh, who is now a quarterback for the uh, Denver Broncos. I ha uh, they gave me, and this is really nice of them, and, and I really thank them for what they did. Uh, they gave me uh, two rookie cards of uh, Drew Locke. I just wish I could get them autographed. That would be really, really cool. But we're going to put Drew Locke in there. And so when Drew Locke is in his 80s, he can look like, yeah, I look like this. So, um, or when he's in the Hall of Fame, I, I, I can only be hopeful. And I, I'm, I'm not going to flash everything on here, but they, they also gave me this napkin because I'm, I'm going to put the, on the napkin is their names. And um, I, I want to give them credit for having this in here. So um, that was very nice of them. Thank you very much. And then um, the, the last, oh gosh, uh, there, there's something else that I got today too. I, I, I actually, it's not here. Let me go grab it because it is amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so happy. So I told you I'm going to put a mask in the time capsule and I've got this one. It says USA on it. I'm not putting it in there anymore. I have, uh, whoa, I have this and this is a Lisa at R7 school district mask and uh, it has a card attached to it and it's, um, it's from Linda Ismert. She's the secretary uh, to the superintendent and to the school board. And she wrote a very nice thing on the back of the card explaining about this. This is a great artifact right here. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I'm, I'm definitely going to put that in. Um, almost dropped this. <laughs> uh, don't want to drop this. This is the letter uh, from um, Summit Technology. I also have the letter from uh, the superintendent. Uh, that's going in there, and then the last thing, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I read it, and um, it just, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, this is like, if I make a time capsule, and I don't have this in here, then I didn't do a good job, um, and I have it in this envelope, and it's going to stay in this envelope. Um, I did pull it out and read it. I'm not going to tell you what it says exactly. You're going to have to wait 50 years for that. Uh, this is from Dr. Bud Herzog, and Dr. Bud Herzog um, is a graduate of Lee Summit High School uh, in 1948. His wife also is a graduate of Lee Summit High School in uh, 1948. Um, she just recently passed away. Um, uh, the Herzog family is a very good friend of my family, um, and um, he's an icon of this school district. And uh, he's in his 90s, <laughs> and I, I have this, and it is so amazing. Uh, he wrote a letter, and he even put a couple pictures of himself in there, and, and the pic I'll tell you what the pictures are. Uh, the pictures are of him working on a porcupine and working on a camel, and <laughs> that's amazing, but the letter is just amazing. Uh, he, talks about, uh, he talks about our community, the history of our community, he talks about the history of this school district. Uh, he's very proud to be in this community. He's very proud to be, to be a part of this school district or has been a part of this school district. Um, it, it's, um, it's an amazing letter. And um, uh, I, 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 I want to thank Dr. Herzog because this is just, this is like, this is the Holy Grail that's going in there. Um, and, and, and I can't wait for you guys to read it, but you're going to have to wait 50 years. So I'm, I'm putting that in, in the time capsule. So I'm tired. Uh, I've had a long day. 
Uh, we've got four days left uh, until the big day. Uh, I've got a couple more things going in, um, just paper. Uh, fortunately, I don't think I have any more real like artifacts or anything like that. But um, I wanted to share this stuff with you that I'm putting in there. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to do a couple more of these before the big day comes. And then I'm going to uh, play Tetris with this thing, pack it perfectly, get all of these historical artifacts in there. And uh, it's going to be wonderful. So stay tuned. Uh, we are very close to the Missouri Bicentennial.